Hairstyle. Showers overnight, low near 73. Scattered showers Tuesday, high of 80. How close did I hold that? Just a, uh, a little closer. That right there is fine. Okay. It's Bull's Eye on the Afternoon with Andy Bull Barch and Matt Douglas on AM 930 WEOL. Nothing but a good time here at the 173rd Lorain County Fair. We're having a blast out here. Come on by and join us. The station will be here throughout the course of the week. Bull's Eye on the Afternoon with me, Andy Bull Barch, and Matt Douglas will be here today. Wednesday and Thursday as well. Make sure you stop by the booth, come by and say hello. We're having a blast out here. Lots of sunshine, pretty warm today. For the next couple days we come out here, the forecast looks pretty good. Mid to low 70s, not too shabby. We're getting a nice occasional breeze blowing through the booth here as well, so we're having a blast. We've got Will Schlechter joining us on right now from Schlechter Brothers Country Harvest. Will, thanks for coming on. How are you? Good. Doing real good today. Thank you. Well, you guys are selling not just maple syrup, maple sugar you guys were you're telling me about maple cream earlier you guys have all kinds of cool stuff you guys are selling here this this year yeah it's uh it's a really cool product i mean we can make a lot of different things out of it and it, it's it's nice to interact with people and tell them about how the process works and um you know share share some of the product we got some samples there people can try it out they never had it before if they just want to try it again that's cool too so yep we really enjoy ourselves out here well what does one do with maple cream i'm just curious is that something you eat or is that something that that foliates or something like that well it's funny you asked that um (laughs) it's it is something you eat but i did have a couple uh people that are interested in it and and, you know they grabbed a sample and they went to put on their hand like whoa whoa." (laughs) that might get a little sticky there (laughs) but uh yeah as far as what we put on it um Personally, I like to put it on Ritz crackers, that little salty taste with that, that sweet maple flavor. Um, you can put it on toast, bagels. Um, some people like to put it on their uh, waffles. It, it hangs on that waffle a little better than what maple syrup does. And um, so, yeah, it's a few few ideas. Gotcha. You were telling me before we went on the air how you make that. And I thought that was a very interesting process. You said it kind of comes together almost kind of like peanut butter. So for our listeners out there wondering how that process works, how do you put maple cream together? Okay, well, what I do is that we start out with maple syrup, um, and uh, we boil it down a little bit further. And uh, what we're doing is all we're doing is taking more water out of it, so it's more concentrated maple sugar in in the product. And we boil it down to about uh, 22 and a half degrees hotter than the boiling point of water. And then we cool it down to about 50 to 60 degrees. And um, it is super thick. Like when I'm trying to get it out of the tub and put it in my processor, all it is is a gear pump, and all it does is incorporate air into that product, and it uh, it makes a real creamy um, mapley treat. Hmm. So, very cool stuff. Now, you were telling me also that this is a pretty cool week long event for you. You got quite the streak going on here. This is your 41st straight year wow. here at the Lorraine County Fair, right? <laughs> yep, I'm 41 years old. Um, <laughs> been here every year since I was born. Um, my parents got married during the fair, actually, and um, you know, it uh, yeah, it's definitely something that uh, that's in our hearts, and we like to you know, we got our kids in the 4-H program, and um, yeah, it's just. Um, it's like one big family out here. It's, it's like a big reunion every year we come out here. So your mom and dad got married during the fair. So they got married at the fair as well? Was, there, was, well, it, was it at the fair or during the fair? Well, it might have been like the Saturday before the fair. Their, their anniversary is the <laughs> okay, 21st, gotcha. depending on how the date, date huh? falls. So I wasn't there, so I, I can't actually tell. Okay. All right. No, I thought that was when you first said that, I thought, wow, how'd they put that together? Like, were they in the grandstand? How'd this all go together? But you mentioned you camp here, too, like a lot of other folks do. And you mentioned, you know, your kids really enjoy the idea that really they meet people here and they kind of become friends for life. Yes, yes. So. Uh, yeah, they, it's fun watching them grow up, and they 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 gain more friends every year, and um, you know they get get a group of them together, and like you know like myself, you know you, you you come out here, and even if you haven't seen them all year, when you come back, it's like you, you never lost touch. You know, it's uh, it's a great feeling. Now, when we came in today, we saw a lot of the campers. We saw some of the RVs and such, and, you know, we saw fire pits outside. Folks had their chairs outside. Looked like they kind of got a chance to enjoy some of the fair, but you had mentioned you guys are usually so exhausted. By the time you guys get back to the camper, you're pretty much ready to zonk out, right? Yeah, um, yeah. the way the day starts out, I mean, usually we're getting up around 6 o'clock, getting chores done. You know, kids got to clean the pens out, make sure everyone's got water and feed, and, 
and you know take them out and give them a bath if they need it um you know then you got show days which there's a lot more extra work that goes into it and and then we have our booth out here with the maple syrup and um you know that's that's we got to be open we're obligated to be open from 10 to 10 so the earliest we're going back to the campsite is 10 o'clock and you know so that's that's a long day right there and you know it's um Time consuming for sure. No yes, doubt yeah. about that. It yeah. keeps you busy. Yeah. Sure. Will Schlechter with Schlechter Brothers Country Harvest joining us here on Bullseye on the afternoon from the Lorain County Fair. You have kids 7 through 12. You've got four kids and they're all involved somehow, some way. A lot of them involved with the junior fair as well. Now they're going to be showing animals throughout the course of the week. What all are they involved in? Um, so I've got, um, like I said, I got, I got four kids on my. My youngest kid, she's a, she's a clover bud, and um, usually what clover buds do, they have a show and tell project that they um, they show on on Saturday, and she likes Shopkins, so that's she's really involved in the Shopkins, so she she told about them, and then my other three kids are in um, that are old enough to, to bring animals to the fair and other projects. Um, they brought a um, steer and, and some feeder um, feeder cattle and some pigs, market hogs and also a couple boar goats. Very cool stuff. Well, you kind of run the game with it, but you mentioned that's kind of a throwback yeah. to your childhood as well too, right? Because you actually did the steers and you did the pigs as well growing up, didn't you? Yes, I did, yes. Um, so it's it's nice to you know take some of what you learned and then pass it on to your kids and you know maybe someday they'll be able to do the same thing. All right, Will, where did the, the transition from livestock to uh, maple syrup come into there? <laughs> Well, that story goes back about, uh, you know, I'm 41 years old. It goes about 31 years. My dad got a star when we were just kids. We started with just a really small um, small deal. My dad got, you know, we, he showed us how to do it. We tapped about 20 trees just around the yard. My brother and I, we, uh, you know, just had a lawnmower and a little trailer. We go out and collect the sap. And uh, we just had a little fire pit that we, we boiled the maple syrup, you know, the maple syrup, made maple syrup. And, um, you know, it started out as just a, a real small hobby. And, now it's just a bigger hobby. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that brings in a few bucks, I'm sure, too. What's yeah. that process like, though? I mean, can you retap the same tree after a year, or do you have to go find new maple trees? No, um, no you can um, retap the same tree every year. Um, the tree needs to be at least a foot in diameter, and for every foot in diameter, you can have another tap. So if a tree is two oh, foot wow. in diameter, you can have two taps, three foot, three taps. And, um, and basically, when we go out to the woods when we're tapping in the springtime, is... Uh, you know, we look to see where we tapped in previous years and try not to tap in the same spot so we're not girdling one spot, spot part of the tree. Because uh -huh. the tree does heal over over time, but it's nice to give it a break for a couple of years in one spot. So You mentioned your dad got into it. I mean, I'm assuming this is before the days of YouTube where you can just look up a video on how to tap a maple tree. Where did he come up with the idea for it? Well, um, my, uh, my grandparents had actually done it in the 50s and before that but had quit sometime you know in the mid 50s so my dad had some experience as a kid and uh he wanted to bring that tradition back to the family and uh so he taught my, my brother and i you know to do it and like i said we just uh we enjoy it so much and you know it's a good time to have friends out and stuff i mean it's spring day you know the winter's starting to warm up in the spring and um it's too muddy to do any other farm work or anything like that so um yeah, it's just a good time. This last year we had a, a pancake breakfast, and it was a huge turnout. People just enjoy, you know, that aroma, you sure. know, the maple syrup, how it's made. It's just, it's one of the unique products that just you don't see every day. Yeah. That's genius. A pancake breakfast. Did you guys serve maple syrup, man? Almost like you planned it that way. <laughs> yeah. Very cool stuff. Well, Will, for our listeners out there wondering where they can go to see you guys and see your product, where are you guys located here at the fair? Well, here at the fair, we're in Building 17. Uh, we're closer to the um, to the grandstand area. Uh, we're just inside the door. I have a sign sitting right outside the door that uh, says pure maple syrup for sale here. And um, so, yeah, please come out and see us. Um, you know, if, even if it's just to say hi or, or try what uh, any products that we got. So we'd appreciate it. Very good stuff. Well, thanks a lot, man. Pleasure having you on the show. Thank yep. you. Thank you very much for having me. All righty. Will Schlechter joining us from Schlechter Brothers Country Harvest. We need to step aside and take a break. Coming up in just a second, we'll get to the local news.